After striking a deal with the New Jersey Assembly, Governor Christie is trying to do the same with the state Senate to fund transportation needs. He's agreed to raise the gas tax while lowering the sales tax, but not everyone's on board. New Jersey reporter Cleve Bryant joins us now in Trenton, where the governor is trying to build support. Cleve. Yuki, it's one of those spend a little more here, save a little more there. That's the deal that New Governor Christie worked out with the New Jersey Assembly going into one in the morning on Tuesday. Now he's got to get senators on board. Good afternoon, everybody. After doing what many never thought possible, Governor Christie took the podium Wednesday to explain why he's agreed to a plan with the state assembly to raise the gas tax 23 cents per gallon. The fact is that it will help to improve mass transit in our state. It'll help to improve the roadways in our state, and it'll help to improve bridges in our state. That's all a good thing, and that's what compromise is all about. The governor's end of the deal, lowering the sales tax from 7 to 6 percent over the next 18 months. According to his cabinet's math, the average driver would spend an extra $100 per year in gas tax, but the average household save about $400 a year in sales taxes. Plus, part of the deal lowers income tax on people who are retired. Now, I've never signed a tax increase in the seven years as governor. Not particularly thrilled to have to sign this one. But I've said all along that if that represented tax fairness, that I would do that. But it takes more than two to tango. The governor must now get the Senate to pass the plan when they convene on Thursday. Earlier today, Democrat and Majority Leader Loretta Weinberg strongly criticized the deal, which she says is far different from the Senate plan passed through committee last week. This is the worst government, being the worst kind of government being done at a really inappropriate time. Christie believes the gas tax sales tax trade off to fund transportation needs will get done. The assembly got their work done. It's time for the Senate to get their work done. The governor says that if the Senate does approve the plan, the 23 cent per gallon tax increase could go into effect just in time for 4th of July travel. So hold on to your extra four or five bucks to fill up. Reporting live in Trenton, I'm Cleve Bryan, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. I hear you, Cleve. Thank you.